Hello, welcome to the Tutors of Life podcast where we research life so you don't have to. Episode 325, this is your host, Sean Tudor. And this is Sam. And this is a Tudor episode where we try to teach you something new. Cool. What's up? It's another day. Another so, day. What'd you buy today, Sean? Bought a topper today for the Chevy truck. Mm-hmm. Um, so we got a couple things to do. Mm-hmm. So. That bookcase is really like tilted this way. Forward or back? Like sideways. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. We did some yeah. rearranging this weekend. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. Why? Why, Sean? No, I asked you why. I don't know. We had to clean out a room. All right. The tutors are expanding. The tutors are expanding. There we go. All right. <clears throat> cool. Um,. Yeah, but I, I got a topper, mm-hmm. so that's cool. That's all that really matters. Is it? I uh, know. I guess not. Okay. Um, I want to see if I could find like a seat. Yeah, you need a new seat. New seat. It's really uncomfortable. Very. So we were looking at buying accessories for the diesel truck because that one's at least comfy to ride in, mm-hmm. but turns out it just keeps falling apart. Yeah. So, <laughs> we are, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Whatever. That's kind of how we feel about it. But we're not going to put more money into it in case we do sell it. Did you sell? Yeah. Yeah. So, this topper came up for the other truck, the Chevy truck, and it was just, I feel like we come by Chevy trucks more than we do big diesel Fords. Yeah. So, if we end up finding a comfier truck we can move the topper to that one that is an option a lot easier than we could with one for the diesel so because the diesel is an eight foot box it's massive that's the same thing the chevy is is it really yeah damn so that would fit on the diesel truck yeah oh okay never mind they're a little bit different though because like forward beds are a little bit wider i think Mm -hmm. but yeah and we always talked about how we wanted to like another like is gmc the same no gmc is the same okay so yeah uh-huh. so we've always talked about we want another gmc again because that thing was nice. comfy and nice mm-hmm. so it was a better option to buy things for the chevy truck than it was the diesel yeah that was my explanation for that. all right cool good job mm-hmm. um yeah it's gonna be sweet i think yeah what do you got god um, I was supposed to clean all day. How'd that go? Um, not good. Okay. Uh, we are, we, I went blueberry picking with mi madre. Uh, it took us two hours to get 12 pounds, 11 pounds, which is a lot of blueberries, if you don't know. Uh, but it took a lot out of me. So then I came home and didn't want to do anything. Mm. Um, I am very exhausted nice. often No, so nice mm. um cool yeah now it's seven o'clock and i'm have a couple things that i just want to do today and think you're gonna get them done i think so i only have like five plants i need to plant sounds good and did i need to do something else that's it yeah that and finish dishes and cleaning cool and obviously posting this podcast all right let's get this in let's get it let's get it done sean what do we do this weekend that sparked this topic so friday we went to reverb mm-hmm. and which is a newer music festival in oakland i think it's the second year it is the second year uh last year was only one day this year they decided to expand it to two days and they expanded it to um because last year was another like emo punk yeah uh concert so saturday was like the emo punk kind of night and then, but we went Friday night, which was like 2000s rap. Yep. And so it was a lot of like, I shouldn't say a lot. It was a handful of like rappers that we've listened to growing up. Yep. So we were kind of excited to see him live. I was pretty impressed at how terrible it was. Yep. Same. It was terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, not a lot of people. It wasn't mark. It wasn't marketed well. No. Nope. Um. So not a lot of people. And Which, then, that's not a bad thing, by the way. Like, for us, that was great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not a terrible thing. 
Um, not a lot of food options. Mm-mm. And then... There was no fucking garbage cans by where you stand or sit. Right. So, if you're drinking something, most people are just throwing it on the ground because there was no garbage cans anywhere. Yeah, you had to walk a good amount. And then, yeah, the restrooms were far away too. Mm-hmm. Which is okay. That's okay. Okay, and the the last thing was about it the the rappers were terrible bubba sparks was amazing bubba sparks was great amazing yeah. actually yeah i was super impressed when bubba St- so bubba sparks opened up at three o'clock and i was like damn dude this event is gonna kill he is doing like this is amazing mike jones comes on terrible and then who was after Mike Jones? Um, it was Young Jock. Young Jock. He uh, wasn't bad. He was okay. But Some people liked him, and I thought it was very. I just meh. don't think we knew a whole lot of his songs, which really didn't help. And the DJ kept stopping, and he kept talking and doing oh, all this yeah, dumb shit. Yeah. And like his best song, he didn't end on. He ended on like it was not great. And Mike Jones did the same thing. The two songs that I knew, he played first. Yeah. So the rest of the set, I had no clue. Right. See, I was interesting there. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too great. And did, I think both Mike Jones and Young Jock, they had their audio, they had, they had their vocals in their audio track. Mike Jones didn't. Mike Jones didn't? Okay. Young Jock might have. Uh-huh. I don't remember. It yeah. wasn't terrible, though. Right. But like, it, it wasn't was, great. No. Like, he at least, like, his pitches and stuff were mostly the same. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, like, okay, if you're going to rap or sing, then take your vocals out of the tracks. Right. Yeah, dude. If you That's I, like, why are your vocals in your tracks? Mm-hmm. Then, and so then Twista was an hour late. Yes. But when he came on, he killed it. He did. He did good. But his set... Uh, ended short because it started pouring down rain. Yep. So if he would have got there on time, we could have enjoyed his whole set. Yep. Um, but I think it was him, Twista. He never played more than like a minute of his song. All of his songs were. He they they would switch it as soon as it started getting going. They'd switch it. Um. He, uh. Trick Daddy was the worst. Trick Daddy that. was the worst, and he also had his vocals in his. Yes. So his was all around terrible. And then... So, yeah, every song was probably less than a minute played. Yep. Uh, and vocals were going, and it was just... Yeah. And every time they would end this, or they would cut it off early, it was always the... the mer, 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 mer. God, that was And terrible, I was like, dude. why? And they, probably, always be- they probably play, They probably hit that a, a hundred times. Yeah. Anyways, continue. Oh, that was bad. And then T.I. went on, and... Oh, first was... What's up? Genuine. Oh, Genuine. That's right. Then it was Genuine. Yeah, genuine was incredible, actually. He was actually pretty good. But nobody knew his songs. That's because he's only had one song that's been good. Uh, Two. I knew two of his songs. Yeah, that's right. Um, he But he was absolutely incredible. Did so, so good. But he kept trying to do these things like where he's just like, sing along. And everyone's like, we don't know how. We don't know this song. But then they started having the backup singers and that was doing all right. Sing when he wanted us to sing yep. and that was fine. But Genuine was the second best yeah. behind Bubba Sparks. Yep, 100%. And then it went to TI which was the biggest letdown I've ever been a part of. It was like how I felt when Ludacris was done after 45 minutes. It was more than that. It was way more than that. Because Ludacris, like, gave us a fucking show and, like, a power pack uh-huh. show for an hour. An hour, yep. And T.I. started off with songs that nobody knew. And? Had his fucking vocals on Vocals on, and he could not match his vocals. So it was like he would say his shit, and his voice doesn't sound like his voice anymore because he's 50 years old. Yep. And then his track would play. And then he'd sing, and then his track, and then him, and and so it, it he ju- had like a constant echo of his old self. Yeah, it honestly sounded like he was just shouting over his tracks. Yep. You know when a kid, a kid is like singing to a song, and they yep. don't understand pitches, and they're just like yelling, 
That's what it was. That's what it was. It was real bad. So we left after half an hour. Yeah, we were like, it's terrible. We're done. Um, so that was that. Yep. But while we were there, I was in awe at the amount of obesity. I like how it took us 11 minutes to intro into the actual topic. This is the topic. Here you go. So Sean and I, because during Young Jock or at some point, we just sat in the grass and kind of just people watched this event was great that for was people during watching. young jock yeah this event was great for pe- people watching absolutely great um but yeah we were looking around and we're like we are the minority oh big time like by a significant percentage yeah mm-hmm. and yep. it, this is what like what Sean and I had to say, like, about it. It wasn't, like, we're the only fit ones and everyone else is just, like, kind of overweight, overweight, whatever. Like, we're talking obese and morbidly obese. The amount of obese was wild. I would say obese and morbid, morbidly obese had to be about 30 to 40% of that crowd. Easily. And then, like, probably fit people... I would say would be about 15, 20% maybe. Don't maybe. Know. No, 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 no. Five. Fit people was in the fives. I guess fit people, yeah. Yeah, fit people was in the 5%. Not fat people was like 25%. Yeah. That includes the fit people. Mm-hmm. So, and then you have like overweight, fluffy, soft, and obese mm-hmm. taking up 75%. Yeah terrible it was bad terrible terrible and the amount of them i am happy you can be confident but the amount of them wearing outfits that showed way too much skin and it was not good looking skin wild dude it's fucking wild and the whole thing is like um because we've been to like quite a few countries when you see groups of people in other countries, like when we went to Oktoberfest, mm-hmm. there was not obesity like that. Like when we were in Portugal, we saw one obese person. That we noticed. We noticed one obese person. And where was that person from? The U.S. The U.S. He was in, our, he was in a wine tasting. He's from the U.S. Other than that, like we didn't really see much obese were there like overweight people yeah sure yep were there soft people sure obese none (sighs) yeah minimal 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 Mm -hmm. less than five percent um and and so what we're gonna chat a little bit today um is it is very much like the u.s the food we eat is huge Mm -hmm. and the culture we have because uh there was this uh there was this um mexican lady i saw post this was a while ago now and she's like i moved to the u.s i'm sure it was legal yeah i moved to the u.s and i would go to the grocery store and i'd buy the same food i would eat back home oh yeah and within two months had gained 15 pounds so she's like how am i eating the same fucking food that i ate back home but i've gained 15 pounds in two months doesn't make any sense and she's like still has like she still has a uh uh, like a manual labor job Mm -hmm. and stuff yeah like her activity level hasn't changed yeah activity level hasn't changed the only thing that's changed is where she bought her food. Where she bought her food. Mm-hmm. That's it. And Not then, even the type of food. Where she bought her food. And then you listen to a boxer? Oh, my God, dude. I listen to um, uh, Rampage on- Jackson. Rampage um, Jackson on Joe Rogan. Yep. And he says every time he goes to Colombia. Or Mexico? He, it was, yeah, whatever. Oh, anyways. He loses 15 pounds within like one week. Like, within a week, he loses 15 pounds in Columbia. And he's like, 
He's like, I was going down there to get stem cells at first, so I thought it was the stem cells making me lose weight. And he's like, well, so I wanted to test the theory. He's like, so I just went down there. He's like, and he said when he's on vacation, he doesn't watch his diet. Mm -hmm. So he's on vacation, not watching his diet. And he said he went down, didn't do stem cells, just wanted to see what would happen, lost 15 pounds in a week. He said the shit that's in our food, because he says he eats dirtier on vacation than when he's at home. Mm Mm-hmm. And he loses weight. So it's one, it's all the shit that's in our food. Yep. Shit that's in our food is terrible, terrible, terrible. And granted, like here we do a lot less walking around than when we vacation. But um, it's the food. 100%. It's what's in the food. Yeah. Because we can go there and I can eat whatever the fuck I want and I don't feel like shit. I can drink whatever I want and I don't feel like shit. I had a gluten-free, alcoholic-free beer here, and I wanted to go to bed. Yeah. We had... Liters of beer. Liters of beer over there, and we were like, we could go party. Mm -hmm. We could keep going. Yep. Wild, dude. Wild, wild, wild. Um, But yeah, it just goes to show, like... (sighs) So sadly, like, the thing that sucks about everything is... Like, the people that are, like, obese and morbidly obese, like, even if they ate healthy, they'd still probably be overweight. Yes. Yep. Um, And so we're not trying to, like, fully body shame. Like, the issue is in the food and the system and then in the U.S. Correct. And, like, as a population, we need to start doing something to fix it. To yes. start like emailing your local officials your state officials and be like we need to do something about this well but so many of those people that the issue like a big issue is so many people don't believe that that is the case they're just like they just call, s- see it as body shaming or whatever and it's like no it's the shit in the food what and- did i post on my instagram story the other day it was something about um The more I dig into, like, looking what's actually in my food, the more I become a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. And I was like, honestly, like, that's what got us started on all of this. Right. And once you start looking into, like, what's in the food and, like, these studies that come out about it, you're going to start not believing anything. Well, so there's a, I believe there's a suit or, like, there's something out right now against the F. I don't know if it's a suit, but it's like um, someone's challenging the FDA about uh, Fruit Loops. So mm. Fruit Loops. Yes, because uh, like the ca- Canadian version. Right. So Fruit mm-hmm. Loops in the U.S. has like red 40 dye, yellow 15 or whatever. Yellow 5, I yellow think Yellow 5, it is. whatever. And it's got like all the oils, the seed oils, all that shit in the Fruit Loops, right? And a bunch of different chemicals. Then they have the Canadian and European version of Fruit Loops, and it's just clean. And it's manufactured in the U.S. Yeah, and so they're like, the the thing is like, okay, if we know how to do it and we have the capables, capabilities to do it in the U.S., and we do do it, we do do it for other countries, why do you hate your population so much that you don't do it in the U.S.? Like they want to control it, right. control us. And so, and when you look at, like, look at that and realize that there is, like, food manufactured in the U.S., any of it that gets shipped overseas has different ingredients Mm -hmm. because so many of these countries don't allow this kind of shit in their food. And so, in the U.S., they're, they are purposefully, they're knowingly poisoning us while sending shit that's not poison to other countries yep. so they're treating other countries better than they treat us mm-hmm. which if you just look at the government in the whole you notice that with every fucking thing they do yep so it's just something to ask yourself and people a lot of, there's gonna be people who are like oh guys it's not that big of a deal whatever but it is a big fucking deal because they like approve and say that shit is like fine it's going to be a big deal when a communist country invades us right makes us a communist country and then all of you people that are fat obese or morbidly obese uh die because <laughs> they're going to just kill you because you useless. are useless yeah so that is when it's going to become an issue yeah mm-hmm. 
Oh, it might also be an issue, too, because they state uh, 50% of children being born by 2025 will have autism. Yeah, it's a lot of them. That is a lot of fucking children. Yeah. Go to other countries, it's not that high. No. Look, in the U.S. Yeah. Just look at the Amish population. It's less than 1%. Yeah. Um, no, it's pretty crazy. And so, um, the, the big thing is, and to ask yourself is like, why does the U.S., why does the government, why does the FDA, why do these places want to poison us? What do they gain from that? And what can we do to be vocal about it, to, to stop, to stop it? Um, cause honestly, if we could just in the U S be treated as well as we treat other countries, we would be rocking and rolling. Mm-hmm. It'd be crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but we don't get treated how we treat other countries. We yeah. get treated a lot, a lot worse. Do you want to know why? Uneducated and scared. Well, yes. Okay, Got to keep else? us uneducated and scared. Yes. Um, because the U S has a pharmaceutical and insurance companies that are the biggest companies probably in the world. Yep. Um, if you haven't ever, if you've never gone to a foreign country uh, and watched TV over there, you wouldn't know, know this. But um, people from other countries, when they come to the U.S., think it's so weird how many commercials there are for medications. I think we're one of two countries that do that, right? Mm-hmm. So they think it's so weird that there, we have so many commercials for drugs. Um, and today I was watching baseball at, uh, with my mom at lunch and it was honestly, every commercial was pretty much just some type of medication and for stupid stuff too. Yeah. Oh, all the dumb shit. Yeah. Um, one was literally saying it was a probiotic with sleep relief. I bet you that's not actually fucking helping you. And you look at the symptoms. Oh my God. Gnarly dude. That's like. Every symptom in the book, including paralysis and death. Yeah. And it's like, oh, this may, I should, I should, I should really take, take this. Uh, yeah. The one thing, there's something I read and it was like, gut health has not to do with what to take. It has everything to do with what not mm-hmm. to take. And so you check and see if that was your phone. Yeah. Um, the, the whole premise behind it is like, you're most likely not going to fix yourself through taking things, eating other things, taking medication, stuff like that. It's probably mostly going to get fixed by getting rid of shit. Yeah. Um, which I think there's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. I mean, we've, I, I know some of our frequent listeners have heard us say these things a lot, but we need to repeat them and stress them to you of how important it is. Why is the government so anti like raw milk and mm. um, red meat, red meat, eggs? It's because those are the things that are actually good for you. Right. Those are the things that are going to heal you and not make you have to go to the hospital and not make you take the drugs that they want you to be on. Right. And here is case in point. Love it. So, it came out in 2022, the article I found, but someone just posted on my Instagram and made me think of it again. Um, that it came out that Procter & Gamble... Who's Procter & Gamble, Sean? Do you know? I think it's an insurance company. Isn't it? I think so. Procter & Gamble. No, I think they... I don't know. Anyway, so Procter & Gamble paid the American Heart Association to basically say that cardiovascular disease and death mortality is from saturated fats, not, well, it comes from saturated fats. So Procter & Gamble is a multinational consumer goods company that makes a variety of personal health care and hygiene products. So it's got Dawn, Tide, Bounce, Cascade, Gain, Downy, Joy, Febreze, um, Bounty, Pepto, Bismol, Vix, Duracell, Braun, Gillette, Cresco, Pantene. Crisco? Ole, Ole, Ole. I don't see Crisco. Oh, you said Cresco, so I thought I was. Crest. 
crest. Um, oh, so pretty much everything that's bad for you. Tampax, Old Spice, Pampers, Always, Charmin, Lacoste, Bath. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, and this article was talking about how... It was actually like a, a journal and they were like trying to figure out why they changed the dietary restrictions to say that saturated fats are not good for the American diet. And it started in the 1950s. One article came out that said saturated fats were bad and that's what was causing heart disease and blah, blah, blah. Um, and this this group was looking into it of like why the newest 2020 to 2025 dietary um, American dietary restrictions said to like limit your saturated fats. So they're trying to figure out why it was saying this. And it was from these couple of articles and um, researchers or re uh, papers that came out stating that it was bad. Well, they found that, it was pretty much invalid because the researchers or people that paid for these studies were either um, companies that were big on all plant diets, were companies that were, or people that were invested in um, like tree and soy nuts, um, like uh, some of the, 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 the seed oil companies. Um, what they, What was the last one? The one was... I don't know. Um, but all these people, like, that were funding these researcher researches, um, these papers and findings, are people that benefit from the American population eating seed oils versus saturated fats. Right. Well, one of the big ones was, like, peanut stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the tree and soy nuts. Tree and soy nuts, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, all, all these, this company found that Every study that says saturated fats are bad for you found that all of those studies had been paid for by companies that profit off of you eating seed oils instead of saturated fats. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just so funny that they still come out with these dietary restrictions saying, no, you should only eat a limited amount of saturated fats. But nobody on any true factual based study has found any reason to limit your saturated fats right so if someone tells you saturated fats causes heart disease doesn't right yep no i have i mean dude honestly what it comes down to is like people aren't seeing this it's not in their algorithm and stuff but if you research like carnivore there's like not a case of people not benefiting from carnivore no like everybody benefits from carnivore. Mm -hmm. um, there is countless people who talk about how terrible vegan and vegetarian was. Oh yeah. Like there, and if you look at the difference in the people and how fucked up they are from when they're vegan or vegetarian compared to if they're carnivore, it's not even comparable. Also, how bad like vegan and uh, vegetarian diets are for the environment. Oh, terrible, terrible. Because like dude. soy is really hard to grow. Like you have to literally kill off everything to get soy to grow. It's like the same shit. It's like, oh, oil is bad. Like oil, uh, oil is bad for the environment. Oh, but your lithium mines aren't. Like right. your mines for all your fucking batteries aren't bad. Um, your cobalt mines. Like, come on. If you look at the difference of like how much a well drilling is killing the environment compared to what it looks like around a fucking cobalt mine. Yeah. Come on. Granted, yeah. sure, going into the air, yeah, there's the the fumes and stuff. But apparently, according to if anything's true, which who knows if it's true, the three months from March 2022 to... Well, what was that march april may june to june, to, to june um where like driving was down significantly from the uh pandemic mm -hmm. 
the ozone layer cured itself to like 99 percent. yeah i was trying to find that again and i couldn't find anything on that yeah i don't even know if it's like i don't know if anything's true mm-hmm. i don't mean like but it came out and said that it did that even though it said like time after time again it could never be fixed like mm-hmm. the ozone layer could never be fixed for how much damage we did to it and then something comes out saying like oh it's fixed um but then i don't know if i actually believe that because i don't believe anything mm-hmm. really yeah but i think they were trying to say uh the lack of flying is what helped that a lot that makes a lot of sense mm-hmm. that actually makes all the sense yeah because flying driving is like two percent of pollution yeah also you know what's really funny about that mm. the stupid fucking the paris accord, accord act um that was supposed to be all about this green green lifestyle um the two countries that cause the most pollution aren't a part of it so they want everyone right. else that is a part of it that, you know, already takes care of the environment right. to help pay to overcompensate for them. Doesn't make any sense. No. Don't. Cool. So, yeah. Um, don't want to beat a dead horse here. No. Guys, we're getting fucked. Um, do a little, like, look into this shit a little bit. You can find it if you look for it. It's everywhere out there about how bad these foods are how good it is like and the thing is we shouldn't have to do carnivore that's the problem we shouldn't have to do carnivore but the sad thing is there's not many things we can do here in the u.s that's not bad for us for glyphosate being sprayed on everything all the pesticides herbicides shit like that on Mm -hmm. our foods um everything that's genetically modified you have your roundup uh corn and your roundup wheat which is they modify your wheat and your and the corn. Um, they've modified those with the pesticides so that when uh, when they go to harvest them, or so like nothing eats it, and then when they go to harvest them, they don't get ruined. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's just it's terrible at how much shit has chemicals on it. Our chemicals, canola oil, that's like every everything you eat's like made with canola oil essentially yeah what it, it's canola oil soybean oil vegetable oil yeah all of those and those were literally used for lubricating machines in the 20s 30s 40s it was used for lubricating machinery and now we're just like yep let's it's eat it the healthiest thing to eat mm-hmm. no it's not butter 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 lard, lard yep tallow meat ghee so anyways um, oh real quick mm. some things you can do uh locally if you want uh i know in eau claire and i'm sure in some other cities there are some like organic farms so yeah. like today when i went blueberry picking they're all organic um and uh we're actually looking around to see if we can find some organic apple orchards yep um the blueberries uh we just put them in gallon bags or quart size bags and just freeze them and then you can just take a handful out whenever you want them Mm -hmm. um and then some other things we do is we go to a butcher that we really like that we know uh the meat has always tasted really good to us and it comes all from local farmers we don't really know how good the local farmers are but they can't be it's at least meat uh, instead of if you go to Walmart and buy beef and they found that none of their beef is actually beef. Right. Or what, it's like it only contains like 20% of actual well, beef. So there's, it's, uh, I think it's like a mixture of a lot of different things because it's not just, the when you test meat, there's supposed to be one genetic. Yeah. Um, but when they test like meat, there's many different, when they test meat from different supermarkets and stuff, mm-hmm. um, it's a lot of different genetics so they've got a lot of different stuff in it like animals and stuff yeah yeah so you don't really know what you're getting there no and i mean if you just look at the quality of meat it's why we quit buying salmon salmon from the store so nasty it gets gross slimy and the color is just weird the color's orange no your salmon's supposed to be red um and it's you can have it in the fridge for a week and it won't stink Mm. and when you cook it it doesn't smell either right and so we just noticed that stuff, the the farm raised stuff that says it's fresh, mm-hmm. fresh caught. 
whatever. No, it's fucking terrible. Mm, it's and not supposed to be orange. Like I said, Eau Claire's not that big. And like we can find all these things around here. Sometimes, I mean, uh, like for our meat, we do actually drive an hour to go get it. Mm-hmm. Um, but we can go buy it in bulk and we put it in our freezer. Right. Um, lots of farms also sell eggs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even like some of the farms that like we've gotten eggs from, their their oaks aren't very orange, but they're still a lot more orange than yellow. Then yeah, and we bought some all organic ones from just yellow Aldi, and they're such a pale yellow. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's definitely local ways to buy some of your stuff that is way better for you, way better for your family. Yep. Um, farmers markets too also yep. um there was one at festival today i mm. just forgot to stop on my way oh, home. sure um but yeah uh there's different farmers markets every day in eau claire around town um some are big and some are small obviously but there's always that way to go get fresh vegetables and stuff too yeah and some of it is actually way cheaper yeah the blueberries in bulk today were way cheaper than if we ever store bought blueberries yeah the only difference is you gotta put in time yeah i did have to go picking for two hours but if i would have went earlier in the season i would have been able to get the same amount in half an hour but still um so yeah i i i definitely would just start with you could just start with one type of food group to try and find a local place around um to get at least something in your diet that's not Full of Fake. chemicals and yeah. GMOs and everything. Yep. It'll help a lot. Mm-hmm. All righty, gang. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Be smart with what you're putting in your body. Mm. Um, question everything. Reach out to your local officials and your governors mm, and senators and be like, this needs to stop. Like, we need to start taking care of us. Right. So. Cool. All right. Catch you in the next one. See you.